I'm standing here in this exquisite chapel of St. George at Windsor Castle, so close to where my beloved mother, the late Queen, is laid to rest with my dear father. I am reminded of the deeply touching letters, cards, and messages which so many of you have sent my wife and myself. And I cannot thank you enough for the love and sympathy you have shown our whole family. Christmas is a particularly poignant time for all of us who have lost loved ones. We feel their absence at every familiar turn of the season and remember them in each cherished tradition. My mother's belief in the power of that light was an essential part of her faith in God, but also her faith in people and it is one which I share with my whole heart. It is a belief in the extraordinary ability of each person to touch with goodness and compassion the lives of others and to shine a light in the world around them. This is the essence of our community and the very foundation of our society. And at this time of great anxiety and hardship, be it for those around the world facing conflict, famine, or natural disaster, we see it in the humanity of people throughout our nations and the Commonwealth who so readily respond to the plight of others. While Christmas is, of course, a Christian celebration, the power of light overcoming darkness is celebrated across the boundaries of faith and belief. So whatever faith you have or whether you have none, it is in this life-giving light and with the true humility that lies in our service to others that I believe we can find hope for the future. Let us therefore celebrate it together and cherish it always. With all my heart, I wish each of you a Christmas of peace happiness and everlasting light.